has turned into eight second chance points for the Pelicans. That has been a weakness of the group for San Antonio all year. Can I just back up and say that I miss <laughs> Greg Popovich in those interviews as Lonnie Walker knocks down the very, very, very accommodating in that interview with our Cassidy Hubbard a moment ago. And hey, it's a different who are veterans for so long is a different kind of situation and stimulus for him. CJ, ah, man, that dude's bag has a bag, folks. Oh, is at the scorer's table. Well, Popovich left. Murray also up off of the Spurs bench. As McCollum knocks down the free. You have to be disciplined in your closeouts. You love the effort. You love that he's trying hard to fight over Larry Nance's day and age. Well, McCollum has scored the last seven and 11 of the last 13 for the Pelicans. What do you know about, uh, notice about both Brandon and CJ's scoring? There's a nice downhill drive by Lonnie. So now Lonnie's got to pick up the right. pace here and score it from different spots on the floor. They're not one dimensional, one skill. It's mixing the spots on the floor that they hurt you from. So much versatility. McCollum with the ball in his hands a lot more now here with the Pelicans. Alvarado inside. Marshall wheels and fires out. The three on the way. Jose Alvarado. Clock. Rookie out of Georgia Tech. He celebrated his 24th birthday last night. And Lonnie Walker with the silencer looks over our way and shakes his head. Said, don't be so. Yeah. Call him off the screen. Mid-range on the way. And the C.J. McCollum show has begun in earnest. Did he succeed Chris Paul as the president of the Players Association? He also had a brand new baby boy, just 13. Alvarado out top. Trying to feel up McCollum around the three-point line. Ingram calls his number and knocks it home. Out of Kingston, North Carolina. Here's Richardson. Hurdle at the elbow. Shot clock down to four for Vassell. Made his first two threes. That one off the mark. But they get another opportunity. Alvin Johnson's been conspicuous by his silence. Vassell hasn't been. Knocks down his third three of the game. Played his collegiate basketball for Leonard Hamilton at Florida State. Jones with the long ball, and here come the Spurs. Back to with it. They're in the bottom third in terms of three-point shooting percentage this year. Ingram working against Richardson, a good on-ball defender. Alvarado catch and shoot. Got it! It's that, interesting. It is. That, that mark, career high in assists, his ability to see the floor wherever he is. Mention Alvarado celebrated his 24th birthday last night. It was Brandon Ingram as Vassell connects on another three, his fourth of the game. I didn't, they watched the play in tournament games and watch a little bit of film after that. Alvarado underneath. Valanchunas with the putback. I asked Alvarado, what did your teammates get you for your birthday? He looked at me and said, going to win. It's going to happen. He never eviscerated his players, and they responded and finally got it going. Brandon Ingram and C.J. McCollum both used the exact same term to describe Willie Green, and they said consistent in mm. demeanor, in preparation, in habits daily. Sets an incredible tone. Sound familiar? Yeah. Sound like a guy on the other side of yeah. the sideline? Yeah. Yeah. Nice move inside. Hey, by the way, Ingram goes to the bench, Doris, with his third personal foul as the Spurs pulled to within four. You heard no overreaction from Greg Popovich in that huddle. He's telling yes. them the truth. You know, there's been times where they've looked young. They've taken tough shots. The whole season's been about the collective for the San Antonio Spurs. Their assist percentage is high. They need one another to win. Keldon's got to settle. He's shown such growth in the paint, right? The ability to touch paint, make good decisions, get good shots. 
he's been a little bit rushed. This is the first time he's touched paint, Mark, yeah. and had something good happen. The crowd doesn't like it. Not at all. And I got to tell you, I thought it, it looked like a clean block. We haven't seen it. I'd love to see a replay. Oh, Mr. Jones. Wow, Herb Jones, one of the best rookie defenders in the league. The foul. Mr. Jones is an outstanding defensive player, folks. Mm. Just a rookie, but they give him every big assignment. There's a look at Jones. You talk about his defense. I spoke with his former collegiate coach, our colleague at one point, Avery Johnson, as Jones dishes it off underneath. It's not going to bounce. Off of Jones, it'll come back to the Spurs. Avery Johnson told me that Herb Jones is the best at taking charges he's ever seen. Wow. I said, really best? He said, including Dennis Rodman. Wow. We spent a lot of time around. That's the kind of defender he is. Out of bounds. It'll come back the other way. That's the second turnover by San Antonio. And there's a look at where he ranks amongst other rookies and steals, blocks. What a great find for the Pelicans. Two on the ball. Double teaming C.J. McCollum. Loose ball and Jones comes up with it. They got a three on two. Pirtle. He better close fast to Mr. Vassell because he's been on fire for four straight games.